Well hello guys, welcome to episode 10 of this journeyman save with our fourth club AIK. Um, yeah, just wanted to, uh, I was just having a little look at um, articles and things on AIK and I came across this one, which I'll link in the description, well well worth a, a, a look. It is an absolute fascinating situation here. So AIK in 1998, I think this was, they um, um, they won the league, but it was a rather strange thing they did to win the league. So 26 games in the league, but they only scored 25 goals. They scored the fewest number of goals in the whole league, but still won it. On the final day of the season, they um, they were up against uh, or, or going head to head with Helsingsburg for top of the league, and Helsingsburg were playing uh, BK Hacken, who were relegated already. And uh, yeah, the uh, this this side they uh, they won the game, and uh, Hacken in the end managed to win the game. And yeah, the uh, the fans, the the Black Army as they're called, the AIK fans, then paid for the goal scorer from Hacken to come over and join the party it was a yeah, bizarre bizarre read but the the sort of story as to how they ended up scoring so few goals is really fascinating I, I will leave a as I say a link in the description I mean I, I feel it's very similar to what we're doing lots of shots not many goals but you know I'll let you read it right now let's uh, let's roll the uh, roll the music Right then, guys. So this is where we are. We, yeah, you can see. I've just lost against Malmo. Very frustrating. Not quite sure how it happened. We've actually been in a fairly good run of games since the the cup. We beat Elfsburg four one. They're doing well in the league. So that was a really good win. Ajete Asimo with a couple of goals. Becken uh, with a goal from right back. He's playing a lot of games now and he's doing well. The team with a long name. We beat one nil. Back in with the uh, Becken with a goal again from right back. Very good. We beat then Helsingsburg. 1-0, uh, Mr. Jolly with a goal. And then we played Urubru. We went 2-0 down early. No, we didn't. <laughs> I'm lying. Wrong game. Um, we're Bush Bush scored two goals. We we got goals from Jolly and Dalberg. But we dominated this game. We deserved the win. Could not get it in the end uh, towards the end of the game. Could not get it. No matter how much we put in, we hit the bar, we hit the post, just could not get the ball in the back of the net. And then we just played Malmo, who are doing well in the league, and lost the game somehow. We, we had a, such an easy chance early on. Ball comes in, uh, striker right in front of the goal. I think it was half free. Just the goalkeeper to beat, and he just passes it into the post. That's so frustrating. And then they go and score two goals from distance very even game certainly did not deserve to lose it but what that means is we are currently in fourth place so any eight points behind the likes of Norcoping uh, Urubru are keeping up with them which is quite fascinating but people are dropping points we just dropped a few more than others around us uh, my hope is we will be able to maybe claw some of these things back we're not out of the we're not sort of um, finishing too soon here we've got a few games in the league but we are going to have to start to do things rather quickly, starting with that away, win, away game against Gürtberg, which is going to be a bit of a tricky one. We have had a player who has come in. Um, this, this is this is said player, Nicholas Eriksson, who is a centre back, mainly quite a fast centre back, which is kind of nice. He's not the best. But he's certainly a pretty good player. We bought him in for just over a million pounds, and he's now worth 3.5 million. So we've done fine with that. But he does mean that we now have a centre back we can put on the bench who's Swedish. Before we weren't actually putting the centre back on the bench because we just couldn't make the jigsaw work. So now now we've got a, a jigsaw that's working, which is which is good. Um, and today we're playing Helsingsburg. We've got a few issues. One of the big issues we had was now Asimo, you saw Asimo was scoring goals. He got himself injured, the little bugger. He's got himself injured. So fairly substantial injury as well. He's he's going to be out for another three weeks potentially, um, which is disappointing. Um, but I, I got my... Uh, board to try and sort out his loan I sort of said well 
we, we can't afford it but we at the moment with your what you've got so we need to sort this out and they managed to virtually bankrupt us you'll see also Mendes and Peters are leaving on free transfers a little bit disappointing but they weren't wanting to stick around lots of things have happened let's go and play Hammerby we've got Riviere he's back for the first time ever uh, first time in ages hopefully that's going to be a good thing we're just struggling to score goals found this guy in the reserves he looks okay he got annoyed that he wasn't getting game so I said right let's give you a game because <laughs> You're a lot better than some of the players potentially that we've got. Team we're going with Riviere and Haffrey up top. That should be good. Jolly on the left, Heroes on the right, Bustos and Lee in the middle. Uh, we're going with Bodegard on the left because our left back, Oscarson, was being awful. So we just thrown him away. We've got Jetty and Planell uh, with Beckon on the right side. Stromfelt continues in goal. They're going three up top, which is going to be a challenge. I've got Faith. Can we do it? I'm hoping so. I am hoping so. Right then. Well, Heroes has got an early chance for somebody by the look of it. Lee, ball through, nicely done. And it's Beckon who has been very good on the right side. We enjoyed him at Viking, he played well. The guy who didn't play well at Viking was very much the, the other man in the side. Um, Dalby and I'd be looking to get rid of him as soon as I can. I think he is dreadful in any position up top. He just does nothing. Heroes on the ball. He plays it back. Sensible ball into Beckon. Back to Heroes. And into um, the striker there, but he heads it against the bar. Lots of chances early on. I'm slightly concerned. We are on key highlights. Lots of chances. It's in, it's jolly. What a finish that was. That looks so composed. Um, and it's it's 1-0. Two minutes in and we're 1-0 up. And we look unbelievably strong. Is it is it having Riviere back? Four minutes in, it's another highlight. I'm going to need to do this in like three episodes, this game. And it's in, it's jolly. The keeper went, what the heck was the keeper doing there? Not the right thing. And Mr. Jolly scores. It's 2-0. Four minutes in. Look at this madness that's going on. Haffrey, yeah, nicely done. Beckon in. Goalkeeper goes for a dive. He's never getting anywhere near that and basically screws his team. We're in, into minute five and another chance arrives. It's this time. It's for Hammerby, by the look of it. Ball in. Uh, we're nicely away. And we do well there it's a chance for Hammerby and uh, it's all going on so Jolly with a couple of goals such an important player for us really really is a hugely important player to have signed but it's just a shame he, he he's, doesn't look like he's going to take us to the league title Lee's back from injury is away for a couple of games Bustos into Jolly Nicely done. Round the corner to Beckon. He's having a good game today, Mr. Beckon. Oh, that is beautiful play. I have to say, that deserved a goal at the end of it. It was a really lovely play from Hammerley. One touch passing all the way through and pretty much almost scored straight straight from that. Lots of, lots of sort of pass, 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 and then shoot. And that would have been well deserved for them to get a, to get a goal there. We've not seen Riviere at all yet. Urubru, you can see they're drawing away at uh, Halmstadt. Halmstadt, I think, are bottom of the league. Let's have a look at the league table. No, they're not. They're 11th. Lee chips it in. It's in, it's Plenel. Look at that. Wow. So what a game of football we're having today. You're seeing some goals. You're seeing some quality from the men in black. I'll show some passion. It really is very, very good. Forcing them to make mistakes. But here we go. Bustos into Jolly. Jolly into Heroes. And it's gone in. It's Jolly with a hat-trick. Is that going to count? He might have been offside there. 
Nope, it's it's the hat trick hat trick in 24 minutes. We're four nil up in 24 minutes. You can go and put the kettle on. I reckon. I think we got this one. Yeah, you got a player called O oh Man. I think that's probably what he's saying at this moment. So Urubu still drawing. This will put us five points behind, and that's still that's still a sort of catchable target, isn't it? We will we'll praise them at this, but I think it's fair enough to praise them. Hopefully they don't get complacent and just keep on. Budegaard is getting his first chance, really. I'd just like to see someone from Riviere just to give me hope that he is going to be our saviour. Because against the poorer sides, we've been good. We are creating chances and putting the ball in the back of the net. I just don't understand why we're not able to do that against the, um, the the sides that aren't so poor. And we are very, very vulnerable to the counter-attack as well. There's something I've noticed. Lovely little ball there. It's jolly. He's he, he was going for number four there. 17 shots in the first half. I mean, you've got to say that Hammerby have not... They've not rolled over, have they? they they've given as good as they've got, but... Well, not quite as good, but they are really trying to, to, to get back into this. And just not quite doing it. They certainly deserve a goal. They've, they've played all right. Well, there we go. First half over, 4 0. I'll take that. Oh, I thought we got him there. Let's see what happens. I do, I'd quite like to give Ericsson an opportunity. Here's Lee, he plays it long. And this is our chance here, Haffrey. He beats his man. We've got a good few players who can actually run with the ball. And now he just left him, Vestermark. He's through and the goalkeeper makes a save. They have been awful in front of goal. I've been moaning about us in front of goal, but they've had just as many good chances as we've had. <laughs> and, and it's not gone well for him for whatever reason. It's quite even actually this game. But certainly I don't it's not 4 0 game at all. They certainly deserve to have goals. I, we don't think I don't think we deserve to be 4 0 up. Right, we're gonna we'll make a change at this point. Um I'm gonna bring Ericsson on and we'll see how he does. Give him a chance. 30 minutes. I mean if he's a goal scorer, you know, it could be he could be the, the key to the lock. But they've certainly had the better of the second half, I have to say. But Lee gets it there. He rose. Ball forward, and it's another. It's another, another ball straight through our defence, and another terrible bit of play from their forward line. Yeah, Heroes has been complacent. Hoppenhang, who's come on quite a lot, do quite like him this lad. Lee and the and well, the missed pass per game. Chance here, lovely play. It's Bodegaard. Oh wow! I mean, that's not the most solid piece of goalkeeping I've ever seen, but he did the job. We've not had many shots in the second half. I have to say, it's been a, a very different second half. Mr. Jolly there, got us the ta gets the tackle in, but what's going on? Yeah, that's the end of that. We'll make another change here. We'll bring Bustos off. He's on a yellow card. I mean, Shojin, Shojin, the young Swede. And that'll do. We've got a few players who are a bit... I mean, what's Ericsson coming on looking complacent? That is not right, mate. We're 4-0 up, but you've got to try and force your way into this side. Jesus. So, yeah, still going for us. England. Ball chip forward. That's well done, that. Very well played. But again, they come forward. It's that defensive midfielder pinned who's causing us some difficulties. It's gone wide again. They could they could have beaten us today. 
I mean, it's a weird game, really weird game of football this is. Second half, they have been by far the better side. I mean, obviously, I think we've kind of dialed back how much we're going at it, but still, I mean, the, the, the quality of chances they've had is a real worry. But it is what it is. We have finished 4-0. Not a deserved win, but we got a hat-trick. Well, not a deserved 4-0 win. I think probably, you know, when you go 4-0 up, you'd expect, expect to win it. But they, they played really well. They should be fairly happy with how they handled that, that 4-0 loss, Hammerby. Certainly weren't embarrassed by that. But Urubru, they dropped points. So we are now just five points behind the top of the league. Norcoping still have to play, which is interesting. Dirge Gardens did get a win this time against Hacken so they they continue just one point above us but it's all tightening up a little bit which is interesting so there's still still a chance for uh, for us I think we still have to play nor coping let's have a let's have a look at games we have to play we'll have a look when we come back I know we've got the European Cup coming up which will be here so we might I think we'll probably come back for this uh, start next week but we have got nor coping as well so we might have a little it might be an inch well we might play a few i don't know what we're going to do i don't know what we're going to do we might play one of those and then come back for that or something we'll we'll, we'll work it out okay guys i hope you enjoyed that if you did please hit that like button please subscribe if you are new and i will see you next time for probably some european cup action but we'll see thank you very much goodbye